Hello. This is to be a movie about flying. One of my very favorite subjects. Just a few years ago, propeller planes dominated the aviation industry, transporting passengers across small regional airports and large international hubs. Today, however, propeller planes have become increasingly uncommon, unused by major airlines on a large scale. In fact, the world's top 10 airlines by passengers carried do not have a single propeller-driven plane in their combined passenger fleet of 5,590 aircraft. Why are these planes that once dominated aviation now rare? The simple answer is that propeller-driven aircraft are too slow. A good example is Air New Zealand's Flight 343, which connects Wellington to Christchurch with Airbus A320s, a jet plane, and ATR-72s, a smaller propeller-driven aircraft. Even on a short route like this, flight times differ noticeably. On the Airbus, the flight takes 50 minutes, while on the ATR, the flight takes an hour. This 20% difference is insignificant on short flights, but becomes dramatic over longer distances. An example of this is the route between Moscow and Montreal, which was flown by propeller and jet planes in the 50s. A Boeing 707 could reach Montreal in 7 hours and 10 minutes, while a Tupolev 114, the fastest commercial propeller plane ever, took 2 hours and 8 minutes longer. The reason behind propeller planes is lacking speed is that their efficiency dramatically decreases as they approach the speed of sound. At high speeds, their propellers spin so quickly that their tips break the sound barrier. The consequences of this include noisiness, inefficiency, and even the destruction of the propeller's blades. In short, it's impossible to make propeller planes fast, so they will never be suitable for long-haul flights. However, this is not to say that propeller planes are obsolete. Over short distances and at low altitudes, propeller planes outperform traditional jet engines. They also cost less. The ATR-72 burns about $11.08 of fuel per mile traveled, while a comparable Airbus burns about $13.07 of fuel per mile traveled. The difference in the planes' is upfront cost is even more pronounced. An ATR-72 costs $14.4 million while an A320 costs $98 million, over six times as much. These factors make propeller planes ideal for commuter flights, like Alaska Airlines' flight AS2152 from Portland to Seattle, which exclusively runs prop-driven Bombardier Q-Series planes. Propeller planes will always be useful in specific situations, since they stall at slower speeds than jet aircraft, they can land on shorter runways. This makes them ideal for remote airports like Nepal's Tenzing Hillary Airport, which serves as a gateway to the Everest Base Camp and has a runway length of only 527 meters. Additionally, many propeller planes can land on unpaved runways and propeller planes' engines are much more rugged and resistant to foreign objects than their jet counterparts. As a result, many military transport aircraft, from the decades-old Lockheed C-130, to the newer Airbus A400M are propeller planes. If you've enjoyed watching this video, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.